everybody and welcome again. In today's video, we are going to make a DDP. But what is a DDP? Okay, a DDP is a protocol that mastering engineers use to deliver CD masters for copying. It's a disk image of our project that allow us to have 100% exact copies, avoiding the scent of physical masters to the factory. We are going to use the software from Hoffa, CD Burn DDP Master. We can also use WaveLab, for example, but I prefer this one. I will tell you why later. So let's go. Let's open the software. Here we have an empty project. Now we can drag our files to this area and we have a track list. Here. We can add all the metadata, track name, artist, album, and a lot of things. ISRC codes. As you can see, by default, the software inserts the gap of two seconds for the Red Book compatibility. Down here, we can see the clips with the waveform. We can separate the clips in different tracks. We can add plugins to the tracks and also to the master section. And we can modify the level of each clip. In the center section, we have the controls like a CD player. We have the info of the project like uh, track number and times. We can see the loudness in LUFS, range in LUs, and we have phase information. It's a good way to check if everything is okay. Let's try it. Okay. Now we have everything checked, so we are going to clip in write DDB. We can choose the destination of the files. We can create a zip file that we should if we are going to move the files or send them to the clients. We can choose to open the DDP in the Hoffa DDP Player Maker. And we can choose if we want to start playback when the DDP is uh, created. We are going to choose this option for opening the DDP in the DDP player maker. We have the DDP player maker here. This player maker comes with the Hoffa suite for making DDPs. This player maker allows us to create a player attached to our DDP. Why we need this? Okay. Uh, because the DDP is a disk image, we cannot reproduce it in our usual players. We need a specific player for DDPs. With it, our clients can check the result in the same way they check a CD. We have the tracks of our project, we can check them.
we must check if uh, all is okay and then we are going to click in the make player button. Here we have several options like loading an image that will appear while loading the player. If we want our clients to burn CDs of the DDP image, if we want the client to save the tracks, and if we want them to see the levels and the phase information. Then we are going to click in the Make Player and Zip File button. In this way, the DDP will have the player attached. Okay, that's it. Here we have the player with our image. We can play the tracks like in a CD player. We have the CD information, we have the levels, the phase, we can bound CDs, we can check all the metadata and we can export our tracks. Here we cannot edit the metadata, but in my opinion this is a good thing because we don't want the client changing things that maybe he does not understand. So, as you can see, it is powerful and simple to use. What I like the most is the possibility to attach the player to the DDP. Our clients don't need to buy a separate player and is the safest way to deliver the master to the factory. That's all for today. See you in my next video. Subscribe if you haven't already because a lot of new and interesting things are coming. Bye.